One of the interesting features that we build is the ability to get schemas for the data exposed by the resources. And this is completely automatic. By enabling the JSON API module, you don't need to do anything else. You just uh, have the ability to get the schemas for the generated resources. So uh, what is a resource? Um, a resource is, uh, for instance, a collection of articles or an individual article. So to get a schema for a collection of articles or an individual article, you just use a different namespace. In this case, we're using API to get the data out. But if we use schema instead of API, we get the schema for it. And that means that it's a way of describing the structure of the document that you would get from the API for a collection of articles. So you can see that this is um, an object that contains a data property that is an array of objects. So if we go and we open this here, sorry, this here API, you can see that this is an object that contains a data property, that contains an array of objects. In this case, it's three articles. So this describes the, the data. And you can see that uh, it goes deep into the attribute and tells you that the NID is an integer, etc. So this is generating a schema for the generated data. And that is really interesting because using this automatically, a client without knowing even that uh, what shape the, the articles resource has, it could build a form to create articles because it can read all these properties. Uh, this is an integer. This is um, a Boolean. It could build a checkbox for, for that, and a number input, um, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, you can do many things. Um, one of the most important things that you can do is given a payload and a schema, you can confirm that the payload is correct and you can validate that uh, that JSON API object. So you can use directly this schema or you can go uh, you can be a little bit more fancy and uh, say that your schema is a combination of two schemas. The the schema that contains the uh, the information about the properties and the types of the properties and the schema that validates the overall structure of the document, the, that it is indeed compliant with the JSON API schema. So by doing something as simple as this, as uh, saying all of, then JSON API schema, and then the articles uh, individual, uh, yeah, individual schema. So uh, basically doing that, you can validate your, your data. Another interesting thing that you can do is to generate automatic documentation for this. And that means that you can just enable a special sub-module and generate documentation based on that schema. Because inspecting this in a JSON object may not be uh, very user-friendly. So that's why we built in a sub-module called JSON API Doxon, which uh, just uses a JavaScript library that reads from a, from a JSON schema and generates uh, a simple UI. So I'm going to find the article, the individual article, and you can see how uh, this is much nicer to, to inspect. And it tells you that it's, it is an integer and that GUID is string, etc. You can uh, just even see the the code and see that uh, the title is an ID, etc. And it reads pretty much uh, everything that we are exposed exposing through type data, like the the description for for a field that this this is a multiple uh, multiple value field. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this should be uh, just 
enabling it should be enab uh, available just by enabling the module JSON API Doxon, and it will uh, liberate you from writing documentation. You just enable this and uh, allow people to to just go here and check this. If you don't want them to access Drupal, you can just tell them, hey, access this URL. All the information you need, all the documentation you need, is in that schema. Uh, they can even use Doxon in in another place, in a, maybe uh, throw it in a in a static site or or whatever. You don't need Drupal for them to see the documentation. Uh, they only need the to read the schema in a meaningful way. So yeah, that's all. Ta da.